All right. Welcome in, everybody. To another stream. Zelf is first. What's up, Nova? Working the overnights. All right. Last we left off. I don't even remember what we're doing. I think we're going to go fight some Draugr, though. I think that's the the current plan. What's up, Acidic? <clears throat> I know we have some impressive uh, magic resistance for being level 11. Because uh, once we cast Sunlight Shield, we go up to 52. And we have 65 Frost Resist. So uh, we're definitely on pace to just fighting nothing but Draugr at this point. Uh, so that's kind of the plan. Um... We could go do Bleak Falls Barrow, but I don't really care too much about Bleak Falls. And I don't know if I care about getting a house quite yet. Eh, our carry weight is kind of up there, isn't it? We've got stuff to sell. I think we were going to go to Riften and see about... Hmm... up one um I might go to Riften and see about maybe buying some enchant uh, an enchanted uh ring Grelka usually has some some decent gear what's up her scene I'm doing well myself it's uh uh, we also kind of want to go to Windhelm, though, don't we? I have to do the, the gauntlet. Go to Windhelm. Oh, I know something I need to do. I meant to do this before stream. I need to look up and see where the... Uh, where the dismay shouts the word walls are. Dead Crone Rock... Lost Tongue Overlook in Shalador's Maze. That's unfortunate. Don't you have to fight like a Dramora in Shalador's Maze? And Dead Crone Rock is Forsworn. Well, that's annoying. I'll have to do that stuff later. Uh, I want to get Dismay because Dismay actually lowers magic resistance now. Hmm? Where do you want to go? I just thought that'd be kind of cool to do with the uh, Sunlight Weapons build. Um, let's go to Riften first. Straight through, or did you want to stop? Climbing back, and we'll be off. We can do Ratways over there. See if we get lucky with the ring. You want to watch yourself in Riften? A lot of ways to get yourself in trouble in that town. And then maybe Grelka has some good gear for us. Maybe we don't even need the stamina regenerating. Stamina regen is not really that important right now. Well, I mean, it is important, but I mean. It won't be for too much longer. First, let's check with the caravan. Welcome in, Peaches. So many refuse to talk. Take a look. Oh yeah, we could go to Riften and, I mean, uh, Windhelm to get that treasure map as well. But then we have to fight Leuven, and Leuven has fire magic, and that's always scary. Before I, for the privilege. All right, keep your voice down. Nice to be an Imperial and actually be able to get in the city through the front gate.
I had another run in with so I've, I've been having issues with Riften not having grass like at all in a lot of areas. So I'm trying this mod that adds grass and Riften, but unfortunately it, it adds like just way too much grass because I have vanilla Riften. So I might have to end up removing this mod after all. I don't know. It was worth a try, because it really bugged me that, like, over by the Thieves' Guild entrance, there was just no grass at all and looked really strange. But now it's, like, super overgrown. And, like, clipping in a lot of areas, which is kind of worse. I don't know. Having no grass here... I don't even know how I would go about editing it to where it was, like, just this one spot. You also don't have grass and rift in. Yeah, it's one of the grass like fix mods or something that's causing it. And you're on you're on an even newer version of Anvil than I am, so that means it's something that never got fixed. But like this bugs me, like that there's grass all over the road too, so I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing. I'm not sure yet. Did we get the improved healing? Yeah, we did. I was about to say, damn, we're healing a lot more than we used to. I don't even know which version I'm on. I think I'm on like me. I, I can find out. I have to, All I have to do is look through the change log and see. Because I know some of the bugs that I had on mine got fixed. But I also fixed them myself, so... Oh, I forgot to check Grelka first. Alright, well, that's fine. We only got a 20%er, a anyways. Updating 2.0. Yeah, to me, it's not really worth updating uh, beyond. Oh no. I won't take no for an You in town, eh? Here for the fishing. Alright, I'm gonna bull rush him. Are they clapping? Oh my god, he has fireballs. This is 
some magic jewel. Magic, you know, with spells. What a bounce. My money's on the big one. I really hate this fucking random encounter. Everything I've got on display, really. Waning shock is pretty cool. Um, major rest. Ooh, shock abatement. Oh, magic abatement. Yo. Yo, that's actually really good. Hold the phone. Hold on, I gotta. Just yesterday. Oh, yesterday. What? I'm assuming autocorrect changed that to yesterday. You meant yeeted? He got yodeled. Um. Oh, fuck. I forgot to check what the enchantments were. Gotta love autocorrect. I'm just checking on something real quick. I don't want to get this because then we can go do more. I'm going to buy this because it's it's pretty cheap anyways. I'm for sure buying that. Maybe should have grabbed this first. I'm really tempted to buy this. I mean, then we really don't even have to worry about Falmer. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows I could use it. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. You're gonna stare. See for yourself. I don't have to waste time. Yeah, now I don't need to waste time searching for peerless jewelry. Man, it's unfortunate. We can't do anything with unfilled soul gems. Does RK not allow it at all? Or is it just like a certain amount? It might be a certain amount. Oh, it's just under five souls trapped, actually. So we'll keep the unfilled Grand Soul Gems. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Alright. Gold well spent. Because now we don't have to worry about if our if our uh, sunlight shield goes under. We'll still be at above 40. <laughs> Crazy. I don't think I've ever had this much magic resist at this level. Alright, well, I'm glad we came here. To stay alive? 
why take a chance? All meats guaranteed, clean and free from rock point. And then if we need poison resist, we can just do that. Be at 80. We need to buy the enhanced constitution spell. Okay. Um, that was the main reason I came to Riften. The only other thing I want to do in Riften is a Draugr dungeon. Which we can do that before we go to... Uh, I can't remember if oils work on sunlight weapons. If not, that's okay because we can uh, we can put it on our regular mace, on our bouncer. Should have checked the the alchemist. So, man, take a look. May your road lead you to warm sands. All right, we're working on restoration to 60 and heavy armor to 55 is the current plan. Tools, wearers, and weapons, all for sale at fair prices. Uh, I mean, technically, they are a physical manifestation of a weapon. Um, let's just. Go to Iverstead, I think. Go ahead and do this next location. You ever met one of them cats? Khajiit, I think they called themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Because you can you can poison bound weapons. Let's drop by the inn, take a little nap before we go off to fight the Draugr. Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me. Sure thing. I'll show you to your room, right this way. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Exactly. We are the... The manifestation of dad. This is the dad build. And no, it's not Shroud Hearth Barrow that we're doing. Fuck that. I should have maybe grabbed a tonic. I think I'm going to do cabbage soup and then because it has better stamina recovery and then I'm going to use a fortify stamina. I'm going to use a fortify stamina and fortify health here. Yep, we're going after. I'm going to try to get the Galder amulet pretty early because after we get the Galder amulet, I'm probably going to be ready for Dim Hollow at that point. Cause I want to get, I want to get through dim hollow like as soon as possible. Um, I want to join the Dawn guard and I want to be able to buy Dawn guard armor. Cause, uh, I want to get, I need to get the Templar, uh, chest piece and I need to buy two pieces of Dawn guard armor. And then I need one of, uh, 
Vigilant Tyrannus' armor pieces, and that's actually going to be my in-game armor. Yeah, the new Paladin spells from Kitty Tail look really cool. I'm going to do this. I guess we have to complete this, don't we? Otherwise, we're not able to come back. Ancient Blood Magic. I think Forn actually uses some of uh, their spell mods, if I remember correctly. Um, their stuff's really cool. All right. Hawk, Whale, Whale, Snake. Yeah, no sense in trying to memorize it. Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to use... Ow. Whale, whale snake. Hawk, whale. Oh. There we go. When in doubt in heavy armor, just fucking sprint. Because you take. 80% less damage while sprinting if you have uh, the right perk. Another frost one. It's going to be really crazy when we start absorbing stamina regen and we could uh, just swing for free all the time. What's pretty cool is that you can, uh, you can bash, you can get some use out of the bash, uh, before even taking power bash perks, because it still applies, uh, sun damage. Just like that.
Well, that's actually a really short dungeon, isn't it? Uh, oh, we have a fucking surpassing potion? When the fuck did we get that? Hold on. I need to set up. Restore health. Yeah, we'll get Sunfire Cloak at some point, though. Which would be fun. Why is there a Draugr in here? There is not supposed to be a Draugr in here. What the fuck? That is very strange. I don't want to go in there and have to fight the boss and this Draugr at the same time. Like, get up here, buddy. Oh, I don't think he can get up here. Well, that's semi-annoying. Oh, wait, actually, the boss doesn't spawn in until we go up to the top. Or he's gonna spawn in now. Guess we went after the wrong one. But now we can cheat. This might be one where Need to turn off the, uh, the HUD. Hey, you guys are supposed to be dead now. How much was the black bow worth? Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? I get to sell it. Oh, I forgot to see if I could um, soul trap him because he's probably he was probably a grand soul gem. Oh, I think I accidentally leveled block earlier. I was trying to level heavy armor. Almost a 50, and then we'll go read the skill books. Get 55 heavy armor. That'll help a lot with the uh, stamina as well. If you can clear Draugr, like, relatively easy, I mean, that's pretty easy to get a uh, stamina necklace. Alright. Um, I'm not sure how the other ones are going to go yet. I'd kind of rather wait until we have... 
the Heavy Armor 55 perk. I think we're going to travel over to Windhelm. Even though we have minus 25 fire resist, I think if we go into that fight with 69 magic resist, we should be all right. Someone may not look like where are you headed. All right. Hmm? All right. You can't take me down the waterfalls here and up to up to Windhelm. Hmm. Not a kayak. It's a big kayak. What's up, Christopher? Need a ride? Where do you want to go? East March. Going straight through, or did you climb and back, and we'll be off. Have you ever met one of them cats? Kajit. Kajit. I hear this whole country down south. What I really need is I need a fire resist ring. Fire resist ring would be best case scenario. I probably should have bought the uh, elemental ring now that I'm thinking about it. Because late game, that's what I'm going to need. So I'm going to need elemental rings. I don't think we're going to have the perks to spare, but if we really needed to, we could take the two out of two perk and then take uh, elemental lore. And then I think these two perks and that gives us like strong enough enchanting to get like two uh, or to get like 50 percent uh, rings or, or close to 50 percent. Why is the snow look wet? Did it rain here? Now it's wet looking. I forgot to remove the cube maps or whatever. Farm work is hard work. It's Farm hard work, work is hard work. But I still have to listen to my brothers harping about it. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully no lightning. But we do have 69 magic resist this time, so that should help. You look, you make an example of that gang. I'll give my, okay. the heart's the spirit. Lost life. Oh yeah, I'm doing trader's post. That's where we're going right now. Because pretty soon we're going to have Galder Amulet, so this Necklace of Warmth is not going to be worn anymore. Probably want to get... Uh, Helm of Ingol.
Oh, they're like in battle with something already. can't sprint. What's going on? I can't sprint. Hold on. I legit cannot sprint right now. There we go. Did one of these fuckers resurrect the cat? I think that might have been what happened. I think I just found more bandits too. Oh, I found the soldiers. Yeah, I think they resurrected the Saber Cat. I'll see you burn. Yep. I was right. I just gotta watch out for Leuven's Ford power attack. The only thing I'm scared of. That and the the orc. The two-handed orc. Unfortunately, I do like the magic resist trait that we have better than the uh, enchanted armor reading that his has. Yeah, Leuven is uh, pretty fucking strong to say the least.
Well, the nice thing is that's going to put us at heavy armor 50. So now we can go read the books. Also not the worst. Mammoth steak I do want. Um we can take one handed to twenty five, probably. Just trying to gauge where we're going to be at level wise. Like we can get the attack speed perk. This is only 7.5% now. It used to be 10% and then the next perk was 50. Could start getting power bash, which actually sounds pretty good because it seems like the bash damage is already pretty nice. So it might be nice to have even more bash damage. Or... We just uh, wait and see where we're going to be after getting level 55. Um, I might honestly go after the restoration books next once we get to 55 restoration because getting to 60 is very important. I don't know. Like, yeah, getting to 60 is really important because it really just opens up being able to take on large groups of enemies a lot easier. Another unfilled Grand Soul Gem. Uh, let's see here. Probably start leveling... Enchanting. Block 50 is actually not bad. Getting blocked to 75 would also be really good. Get some points into enchanting. Okay. Dad is here. Let's go read some books gonna be a bookworm did not realize there was a bear trap there in the meantime I'm gonna pull up where the restoration books are the heavy armor book so many times I've got them memorized. I know where most of the two-handed books are too because getting to 275 is so important. Uh, restoration. There's one in Falion's house. Hollow Dead and Markarth. Falion's house sounds good enough. Yeah, Necklace of Fury wouldn't be too bad. Getting the extra fire resist would be good. Health regen is not too bad, but um, I want uh, the Galder amulet because I need health two, magic two, and stamina two. 
because uh, all of the enchanted gear that I plan on wearing, um, I don't think any of it has any of the rank two enchantments, and you definitely need those going into late game. And also, I mean, we'd, we'd have to get some fire resist gear. Oh, shit. I was going to go take on Ingol. Uh, well, my fortify health definitely wouldn't last. Um, maybe we'll get 55 heavy armor first before we fight Ingol. Okay, there's one in Crystal Drift Cave. That one's easy. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city. More side in and Morthal, you easy. To help the storm cloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Frozen Hearth Cellar. Maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is in Winterhold. Imperial spies. Or Stendar's Beacon. Spies. You can't be serious. Maybe or by the Apprentice Stone. Spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. And Temple of Kenrith. All right, cool. All the restoration books are easy to get. Yeah, I'm planning to use the relatively new uh, Dawn Guard Enchanted Heavy Armors. Um, Give us a straight answer. there's a helmet with magic resist. So part of the reason I'm, I'm going to go for the Dawn Guard armors is one, they have good enchantments, but two, because their armor traits are really good. We're going to end up wearing two pieces of Dawn Guard armor, which is going to give us like 21% resistance to physical damage from vampires. And then another like 30% resist to absorb spells. Uh, plus, we're RK, so we're already taking like 25% less damage from vamp uh, from undead. So I'm basically trying to make myself like unkillable to vampires because we are going to be doing the Dawn Guard DLC, and we're also going to need to do Patema's quest. And there's a chance that we have to fight an Ebony Vampire there, and I kind of want to make it to where Ebony Vampire has a hard time killing us. <laughs> it's kind of the plan. But my goals for this character are kind of to, to slay all the vampires. Um, I guess this is kind of more like a Stendar build. Oh, no, Stendar is about Daedro hunting. I guess a little bit of vampire hunting, too, but I don't know. We're an RK vampire hunter in a way, a vampire cleanser here to cleanse the vampires. Ooh, Ingol should be a grand soul, I think, actually. Maybe we'll just go fight Ingol right now. Frost Breath did get nerfed. I think for testing purposes, uh I mean I want to fight vampires but uh not yet exactly Does look like fire magic. We are routed. Oh, no. yes. no more. Well, like I said, we are RK, so we are pretty resilient against undead. So nice of them to fuel my undead killing count. Just 
starting off our vampire slaying journey pretty well. Oh, actually, wait, I think Tool added Draugr to this dungeon, I just remembered. Wait, that might have actually just been when we had more spawns that they were added. I don't think that was an Eptweeks change. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think that was an Eptweeks change. Oh well, we had it just in case. Uh which one's which? I guess I just don't see the light coming down, but this is definitely the hawk. That's the snake. That's the whale. if we'll be done with this fight within six minutes. For testing purposes, I'm going to stand still and get hit by the frost shout. I want to see how much damage it does now that it's been nerfed. With 69 frost resist and six, or sorry, 69 magic resist and 65 frost resist. I'm hoping that it's not absurd still. Oh yeah, no, that's so much more manageable now. I don't even care anymore. I wasn't even blocking. So now we really just have to worry about that.
Oh, well, we're getting the stagger from, uh, from doing the shield bash. So yeah, we're actually looking at pretty good resistances still. Very nice. Never played Skyrim with shield characters. It's a fun little combo to... You, you can shield bash even with... Or you can bash even with weapons, but... Basically, you just time your bash... Oh, whenever they're attacking, and you can stun them. Okay, with the Helm of Yingal. Oh. We don't have elemental bashing, so that doesn't do anything. We're only one point in restoration away. So close. We could grab combat trance. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea. We're grabbing two perks in heavy armor. We should probably level up again. Let, let's wait and make sure we actually level up from reading the, the next book. I need to get like one more greater insight. Hmm. <laughs> Just need like a singular greater insight. I think killing enemies at night gives you greater insights. I don't remember if that was an F tweaks change or if that was like an Arcase commandment thing. Time to test. Okay, well, we got no insights. Alright, we got a diluted grader.
Uh, we just started this character yesterday. Or the last stream, so it's going for about three and a half hours. Why is he running? Yeah, Zura Star, you have to be completely like OP before you go in there. Or just have like a really strong game plan. Yeah, we've done a Zura Star a couple times. Yep, we're doing uh we're doing the dad build. Pretty much you're only going to Azura Star whenever you're like in the end game and you're like, alright, I need to get Azura Star so I can get my maxed out min max uh enchantings uh power um i'm hoping to find some like random encounter enemies here and put this feather falling ring on to be safe because what camp is this is this some bullshit saints and seducers camp kind of looks like that doesn't it I don't count Saints and Seducers as part of the game because that shit is not balanced. Okay, it looks like these are just hunters. Ooh, but there is a Frost Troll. Oh, good time to see if this works, actually. Uh... Yeah, it does work. Cool. So, oils do work. Oils and I'm presuming poisons the same. Come on, diluted insight potion regular. I know there's like that one camp over in White Run, and it's just like it's such a stupid spot. I wanted to level up Restoration before leaving Windhelm because I have a, a Restoration book to read here. I just need one more level. Dad had a scary run-in with Trader's Post, as Trader's Post typically goes. Um, but in other news, uh, we fucking tanked a frost breath shout from Ingal. I wanted to test the damage on it, and with 69 magic resist and 65 frost resist, I mean, it did like nothing. That is not how it was before. <laughs> before it was bonkers OP. <sighs> I'm just trying to get, like, just enough greater points to level up uh, restoration one more time, because then we'll be at 55. And then we'll be uh, ready to read the skill books. Come on. I just keep getting regular insights, though. Yeah, we're about to... We, we already did... Uh, not Shroud Hearth Barrow, but the one place near it. Um, in Lake Gearman. Gearman's Hall. We did that one. Oh, man, where can I get a greater insight really quick? Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to take a peek inside. I'm just going to take a peek inside. Whoa, holy frame rate. Um, inside Forsaken Cave. Maybe kill like two Draugr. I just need enough greater points to level up Restoration one time. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be going for uh Galdor amulet like pretty early. Pretty much once I get this uh level 60 perk and restoration and we're absorbing stamina regen, then I'm ready to go do the rest of Galdor Amulet quest. Once we get Galdor Amulet, 
Um, we're going to go do Dim Hollow. And then uh, this way we can buy our Dawn Guard armor. And at that point, we'll have Templar plus Dawn Guard armor. And then uh, once we have that, we're probably going to probably be around level 20 at that point. Then we're going to uh, go kill Tyrannus. Not very paladin like, but, you know, RP wise, we're just going to say like, oh, well, we we went there with Tyrannus hoping to help him out. And then he turned to range. It was me or him. We had to kill. Ooh, yes, diluted greater. Diluted greater. Exactly. We just wanted help. He's the one who went wild. Ice Wraith, please. Uh, the only thing I need from Tyrannus is his gauntlets. Because what's funny is his, uh, his gauntlets give... The enchantment on them give like 14% restoration cost reduction. Um, but they also have the, the trait for 8% cost reduction. So really the gauntlets are basically just peerless restoration gauntlets. Actually, it's better than peerless. I think peerless, re uh, cost reduction is 18% now. Um, or maybe it's 20%. I can't remember, but it, they'll, they, they basically end up being 22% cost reduction gauntlets for restoration. Um, and then we'll have the Dawn Guard heavy helmet and then we'll have the Dawn Guard heavy boots. And then we'll have a uh, Templar armor set. Regular insights, come on, man. Killing me. We're so close. Yeah, Movarth is part of the plan. Uh, what was that? Those bandits? You'll regret starting. No, 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 no. I'm not fighting this. I'm not familiar with these locations, and I'm not fighting Saints and Seducers. I already said this. Uh, but the plan for this character is to kind of be like the, the Vampire Slayer. I need to make a patch that just removes Saints and Seducers. Hold on, if I can de-aggro Saints and Seducers, I will fight these vampires. console command uh, just like completely lose aggro okay never mind. there we go we're good right, let me do this Kill some vampires. Because that should give us enough insights. They also have vigilant gear, which is not bad. Uh, this drink's on. <laughs> Good 
had my trigger finger ready on that surpassing potion the whole time. Lose out on a little bit of magic resist. But we're going to get 21 spell cost reduction now. So with sunlight shield up once this loads. Uh, well, it was supposed to give magic resist, but I don't think it ever worked properly. So now it gives magic resist. So just by itself, it gives 15 magic resist. If you have solar dominance perk, then it gives 20 magic resist. Or sorry, sorry, it gives... It gives 10 magic resist on its own. Once you get solar dominance, then it gives uh, 20, or sorry, it gives 15. And then the last, I can't remember what perk uh, qualifies to give it the last one. I think it's, uh, Magnus Comprehension maybe? Might be that one or Mysticism. I think it's Magnus Comprehension. So yeah, just with our gear, because we bought a ring of magic abatement from Grelka for like 10,000 gold. Um, we have 46 MR just on our own between Lordstone and uh, two pieces of Nordic carved. And then when we put the shield on, we get another 15. We go up to 61. The way I have my gear planned out, I think uh, with with the the shield on, we'll have cap magic resist. I think, um, and then also the shield bashing applies uh, sun damage, even without the elemental bashing perks. It's just a little bit, but it actually kind of helps out a lot if you're like single targeting an enemy because you just bash their attacks and then it swing. You end up doing a lot of damage pretty fast. <clears throat> and bashing with your shield procs the sun enchantment or the uh, the the sun sp sun spell or sun weapon enchantment. So you absorb the regen. And then once you start doing elemental bash perks, you also start getting all of those benefits as well. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along okay. quietly and we won't have to get robbed. Brother, I think she's telling the truth. Oh, I might have been wrong about the restoration book. Yeah, okay, there's not one in here. There's there's two in Morthal though. All right, so right now we're just going on a book journey. Um, we might end up using Arcane Disjunction a little bit. Uh, I want to use the Dismay Shout because Dismay actually lowers magic resist now. So I kind of wanted to try to for high magic resist enemies use like against like Ebony Vampires. I was going to use Dismay plus, uh, uh, plus, um, Arcane Disjunction. Climb and back and we'll be off. Just sit back. This won't take long. Yeah. 
Well, it, it's not really going to be that big of a deal to like swap off because if we're hitting enemies enough, we're like absorbing a ton of magic regen regardless. Uh, but I would ideally like to not switch off too, too much. I mean, we'll have to switch off for healing spells, but uh, we're not really going to be having a ton of like magic related gear other than the only thing that's going to increase our magicka is... Um, the Galder Amulet. I'm probably going to end up using Ogma Infinium for Magicka because stamina, I won't really be worried about too much. Like we'll have a decent amount of stamina and uh, we have stamina regen absorption. Health, I'm not going to be super worried about because we have crazy healing spells. We regen health. We absorb health regen. And... Um... So I'm just not super worried about that. Plus, we're like super tanky. Uh, I would I would say it probably is. <laughs> it's quite difficult though to compare those because Skyrim vanilla is you know, the world is constantly leveling around you, whereas this is all technically de leveled. You still have random leveling random leveled spawns, I should say. But it's not going to be based on your level. Okay, so we got two books there. There's one book in Morthal we need to read. There's one in Whiterun. And there's two restoration books in Morthal. And there's one heavy armor, one restoration in Whiterun. So I think we'll go do Whiterun next. Oh, actually, you know what? We're already here. Let's do... Lost Knife. Lost Knife has one. You will do Lost Knife. So that was two. Lost Knife's three. White Run will be four. Morthal will be five. White Run will be one restoration book. Morthal will be two and three. And then there's one in Winterhold. And I have to look up where the other one is. The last one is. you can always cheese the AI. That's probably just about any video game. I guess when we go up to Winterhold, we can go ahead and do Sarthal as well. So we'll make sure Winterhold is the last book that we go for, because this way we can get Restoration 60 and then go do Sarthal. And then I need to get, I need to go buy healing aura. Cause once we have, once we have, uh, once we have respite, then getting healing aura actually makes a difference. Nice ice God always feels good. We already got our first rank of RK's Fortify Health. Nice. So you're saying you...
wrong. Thought I heard something. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> And you're you're going in the water. What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? I got it. God, this drains so much stamina, it's ridiculous. Yeah, sniper with the big ass AOE. Yeah, you can you can bull rush. Thought I heard something. And the best part is with the sunlight weapons, you don't have to worry about that stupid bug where they don't take damage while they're getting up. Cause it's only physical damage that, that bugs out on. Ah. <sighs> Um, I mean, if you're looking for, like, full lists, then I'd highly recommend, uh, Wabajack Auto Installer. There's some tutorials out there how to use it. But, uh, just Requiem itself? Pretty sure there's installation guide, like, just in the readme. I'm sure someone has a video out there that's semi-recent. This is a bad example of difficulty versus vanilla Skyrim though, because this is the this is the closest you can get to a vanilla Skyrim build. Well, it's not just bandits that are de-leveled, it's the entire world. So, you're not meant to fight bandits the entire game. When you're most people don't even fight bandits at level 1 because they're usually too challenging for the average player. Uh, most of the time you even start fighting uh, wildlife just cuz it's something you can manage at level 1, but even then like a group of wolves could still overpower you. But uh, I mean, as you can tell, this build is already to the point where bandits are not a challenge. With the select few bandit bosses being more difficult, but I'm not doing this for... I'm not doing this dungeon for the difficulty. I'm doing this dungeon because we have a quest to do it. And because there's a book here that I need. This one. I don't have the stamina regen yet.
I only have the uh, magic regen. Yeah, the, the point is you don't just do, you don't just fight weak enemies the whole time. You kind of have like a, a bit of a progression to follow. Ooh, surpassing stamina. Um, I think that's just false, Ryland. I'm pretty sure undead make up the majority of the content of Skyrim. But yes, there are harder bandit camps than others. But, I mean, once you... This isn't a list that's designed for you to, to do everything in the entire game. This isn't a go clear every location kind of list. This is more of a... I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. You can slow down the pace of leveling so that you get to the point where bandits are always a challenge. But this right here is still challenging. Because that guy hits me once, and I'm probably dead. hitting like a fucking truck. I think it's that Khajiit. Because they have 10% additional armor penetration. Once again, have come to this location not prepared to open the chests. The, the entire world is de-leveled. Uh, Nocturnal boosts um, range damage by 10% and armor penetration. Other than that, anything that boosts armor penetration. And technically, attack speed affects crossbow reloading. Zenithar is pretty good because it gives you extra 25 carry weight. <laughs> and extra carry weight is actually pretty nice. Yeah, the, uh, the attack speed increase for crossbow reload is not good. <laughs> it is marginal at best. So, like, technically, Debello would benefit crossbows because you get 7.5 armor penetration with Debello and an extra 100 armor rating, which is always nice. funny find um i think we're off to white run next probably just keep leveling and chanting right
Mm. We have two perks. We're probably gonna we're gonna definitely level up by the time we get to hmm. Yeah, but one nice thing is F tweaks made lock picking perks actually increase carry weight. So it's super helpful. Ebony blade build. That's a that's a DB Meech exclusive build. He has a patent on that one. Guts, take a look. Don't forget to check inside go. the shop if you need anything. Potions. Potions get very, very heavy. When your high tier potions weigh 0.7, and I have six of these, that really starts to add up. And then, of course, just your armor in general. This armor is pretty lightweight, but the armor we were wearing before was like uh, 35 units. Your weapons, uh, not to mention um, if you're an archer, then you have all your ammunition. Oh, it's still very early. Got something? Just about everybody in here. Give a hop. Everything's trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I would probably refrain from making potions weightless, but ingredients, I agree to that. I do weightless food and ingredients just because I don't need to carry around all this food on me. I can just drop it off at a designated location and, you know, pick it up when I need it. But at the same time, it's like, okay, yeah, I can do that. But that's all that does is create more inventory management. Potions actually make sense because it's like, okay, well, I can't bring all of my potions to this dungeon, even though I might want to use a big chunk of them. You still can't bring all of them. You're never going to like have to run through a dungeon where you like you need to bring so much food with you because the buffs are going to run out that the carry weight actually makes a difference. I only make the stuff weightless that has no real gameplay amplifications. What are we doing here? I'm going to go read a couple books. Ooh, that's very nice. What? Oh, the fever. My body burns. Uh, there it is. Yeah, infinite blue mountain flower no longer matters. Got the got the ban hammer. I don't really care about anything about like that Momo Yawn because like this character, I don't even think I'm gonna fight Alduin. I think the furthest off, I'm not I might not even do much of the main quest other than unlock dragons so that I can uh, get some shouts. But we could also go shoutless. Going shoutless actually sounds kind of interesting. 
This character's main goal is to defeat all the main undead bosses. So I want to clear the. I want to cleanse the Soul Cairn. I want to kill Movarth. I want to kill Harkin. Um, I want to kill Jaylock the uh, Vaylock the Jailer. Uh, I don't really care about doing all the Dragon Priests. No, I'm not really interested in doing that. Although getting Konarik would be cool, but mm, no. If this was a Stendar build, then I would say our goal is to kill uh, Ossiburg, but this is more of an undead slayer. One day we'll do like a Daedra Slayer type build and main goal will be to kill Ossiburg. That'll probably be like a heavy armor two-handed Stendar build. Um, okay, so we read one restoration book, one heavy armor book. I think, are we just one? I think we're just one heavy armor away, right? Warrior skills, heavy armor. So, Morthal, probably next. All right, more side in, inside the baskets. Ah, Crystal Drift Lair, that's right. Crystal Drift is another location we need to do. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to fill our soul gem. Wait, actually, wait, if you guys rewind, I'm pretty sure we did apply our, uh, our, our soul reaping oil to, uh, to, um, to our weapon whenever we killed Ingol. We definitely did that, because Ingol is a grand soul. We, we definitely did not forget to do that. 100% did not. Welcome to you. Take a look. Um, we need to buy another soul reaping oil since we, since we used ours. May your road lead you to warm sands. See, look, Souls Trapped 1. Just goes to show. Um, the main reason I made sure to increase my Souls Trapped is because uh, RK only allows up to five Souls Trapped. So we have to make sure we don't go above that. So it's only fair that I raise it. Uh, we'll only be trapping three Souls in this build anyways, unless we find a filled Grand Soul Gem um, already for the next two effigies. So I think first effigy we're going to grab is going to be... Oh yes, I did change the... Fuck! I still have two more. Three more I need to change. Four more! Oh my goodness. I missed some. Let me go into my Skyrim mod list. Edit... Effigy names. I did this uh, for organization's sake. Conjuration, Dragonborn, Nightweaver, and Ranger. Okay. 
So we want Effigy of Restoration. I think that's what we want, right? For now, yeah, I think we want Effigy of Restoration. So I think now, with all of the restoration cost reduction that we have, Look at that. It's actually really nice. I think we might be able to cast... Um, enhanced Constitution. That's what I'm hoping for. I also don't think I'm going to go dual casting perk. Because we're going to almost always have a sunlight weapon out. And dual casting restoration spells is really costly. Yeah, I want to get healing aura and enhanced constitution on self. We just haven't been too worried about healing aura because we're Lord Stone. We're already regenerating one health per second, so it doesn't really make a huge difference. Um, but since we're about to pick up the respite oh, perk, all... it does hmm. make a difference now. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Enhanced constitution on self. And healing aura on self. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The Jarl is not a Yes, it is acidic. Neither am I. Azura's new blessing? What's new about Azura? No, we're not going to be using wards. Um, eh, we, we might use wards. I don't know. Maybe. We might use wards for mages. Uh, you mean... Uh, you mean Juliano's new blessing? That might, it probably does. I think it. I think it even says. Oh, I think it says infects infusion damage. It's possible. Uh, I just wish we had a. Sun, well, actually, it wouldn't benefit anyways. But yeah, I think doing a sunlight infusion weapon build with Julianos might be the way to do it now. But I want to stay RK for. Yes, we can cast this. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to stay RK for defensive purposes. I'll be right back. back uh, let's see here oh shit we forgot to turn this quest in we gotta go back to Windhelm uh, 
Okay, I wanted to cast Healing Aura as well. Those are the main ones. There's a slew of other mods, such as like Small Tweaks by Sunny, uh, Requiem Unique Enemies by Ghoul, uh, Ghoul Smasher, Rough to Morthal. But those aren't like hard requirements. You'd just be missing out on some additional challenge and unique enemies. So Nox Tweaks is an old. I don't even. I don't even think it's called Nox Tweaks. I don't know what he calls his stuff. It's just a completely different version of Requiem, really. That's like, that's more like Requiem add-ons than it is like Requiem Overhaul. Three BF Tweaks is more like Requiem Overhaul. But Nox makes some really good stuff. Nox, Nox makes some really cool stuff. Uh, although, I find not all of his stuff is very balanced. It's good, though. It's good quality work. I think Foreign has taken a handful of things from, uh, from Nox. Because hmm? Nox's stuff is open perms. So when I say take, I mean appropriately borrow and give credit to going straight through or did you want to stop why do i always get this wrong well, i know the oh my god make their home here where do you want to go going straight through or climbing back and we'll be off Morthal, capital of the all march hold not quite in the same league as solitude or wife run but a nice enough place if you like swamps We need a mod that makes the Jarl of uh, Morthal Shrek. Yeah, What's special feats is really cool. Except for the uh, the drunken combat perk. That shit was OP. But I really liked uh, I, I, I played Serenity mod list back when that was a uh, Back when that was around, and that used the Nox Rim suite of mods. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time. These what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> All right, there's some some basket. Welcome to the Moor Swamp. If you need some, anything, some basket has a book in it. Have a customer. Turn my lantern on so I can fucking see. Aha! You know, the other one is in a really hard to get place. It's in Fallion's house. <laughs> Your whole hatred Shrek crone. Yeah, I mean, I can understand. Like, you know, putting a lot of time and effort into creating something and someone taking your work and like benefiting off of it or like getting more popular off of it. Than your original work and that you know not being very cool but i just i don't understand why all mods are not open perms for non-profit as long as it's being used in a correct fashion not someone just taking it and like re-uploading it or some stupid shit um my GPU is a 3080, but I don't think a 3080 is required to play the mods that I'm playing. Anvil is pretty performance friendly from my understanding. I don't even play with ENV or anything. I play with community shaders.
And you'll have to keep in mind that I'm streaming, so my performance is even worse because I'm streaming. Okay. I only got the heavy armor 55. Ninety movement speed. We're schmoving. I get lost sometimes. I'm not sure where I go, but I'm not. I'm not here. Trying to remember where we need to go next, and it was Riften. Yeah, I also use uh, V Rammer to help free up a little bit of RAM. It's not much, but it's something. Yeah, I'm no mod author myself anything that i've made is very minor so i can't say that i can speak for for everybody and what they want to do with their own creative work but i just feel like most people in the skyrim modding community are pretty chill people and i don't understand why your work wouldn't be open perms because open perm just opens up avenues for collaboration and uh more exposure for your own mods if anything because if something popular like if, if f tweaks was like insanely popular imagine this was like the only way to play skyrim and your mod is open perms and fornication says i'm gonna use your mod because i really like it and i don't think we're ever doing a bunch in zell uh which is nice to finally say but then, you know, you're getting credited on a popular mod. Now, obviously, F-Tweaks isn't insanely popular, but it could be one day. And even if it's not, we have a small niche community that's thriving. So people in our community will probably go to look and see, oh, what mod is this from? Oh, look, this author made other things. I like these mods. I'm going to add these mods. Shit, I forgot to, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, well, thankfully the, uh, flame matcher knock is dead. I like how she missed every single fucking frost attack. And it's pretty funny. Yeah, acidic, but it's like, that's why I said depends on like the usage of it. Like if somebody, I guess one thing that I could see someone not being happy about is they spend a lot of time making an armor mod and then someone just like takes a collection of armor mods and like tweaks the stats and says like, here's an armor collection, like immersive armors. Like imagine if all the armors from immersive armors, you know, or just weren't open perms or whatever. Or like, if, if anybody in there is like, okay, well, people might never know about my mods because it's in immersive armors. I can see people from immersive armors that were like, yeah, open perms is fine. And then and immersive armors makes this mod and they're like, all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, now nobody really knows I made this unless they go into the, the credits. But I mean, you're still getting credit for it in that sense. You're getting credited, I should say. Yeah. 
Yeah, now we can start casting spells. That leaves <clears throat> that leaves the last one to um to Winterhold, and then we can join the college. Uh, I do want to travel back to Windhelm first. Turn this quest in. There's uh there's two levels of open perms. There's open perms like 100%. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Uh, I guess there's three. Well, no, re I don't think re-uploading counts as like open perms. That's that's something different. Uh, there's open perms. You can you can do whatever you want with it to benefit off of it. And then there's open perms where you can't do it for uh for you can't be involved with donation points. Keep that match basically if you can make money off of it then th that part of it is not open perms but like for free use for non-profit is the other type of open perms it's a it's a pretty skeleton list there is very minor some of the things that it has uh like one mod that i had to remove was oh what was the name of it like bounty hostility or something like that. It was just a no. It was a mod that was recently discovered to cause issues with Requiem with enemies traveling through load screens. Uh, so that's not something that most lists would have issues with other than Requiem lists. And then like they it had its own alternate start mod, which was a pretty lightweight alternate start mod, but I changed it to be live another life. Where do you want to go? Winter hole. Climb and back and we'll be off. Say what you will about the Dark Elves. They did a proper job with Azura Shrine. You can see it for miles on a clear day. Hey, Rosen Hearth in here we come. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned. Hopefully we can actually go to the basement. What did you do? Cool.
suppose I'm gonna have to look it up, aren't I? <clears throat> Not even look it up. I already have it open. Just have to read it again. Uh, this one is the Exodus. Then first one, so wedged between a pillar and a crate on the west wall. Uh, wow, that is... Damn. It's crazy that people find this shit. Did I already see it? It's funny. Alright, we even got a level up out of it. Nice. Uh, let's go one point to Magicka. The time has finally come. Respite. I want to make a save here real quick, because I don't remember what the Apprentice spells are, or the Adept spells. I'm just curious to see what options we have. Uh, Arcane Disjunction, Ward 3 is pretty good. Heal Self 2 is more effective now, but I feel like it's still probably going to cost too much. Maybe not. Uh... Let me try these. I want to see how costly these are. 44. Actually, not terrible. For how much? For 65? Ooh. Versus 17 for 32. Why is this still so much more efficient? But it does also heal poisons. Alternatively, we can get an attack speed. Ah, decisions, decisions. I think... I think we'll stick to this. But... You want two and you want seven. There we go. Yeah, well, heal self three also used to be uh, well, a disease cleanse and not a poison cleanse. I'm the one who suggested it to be a poison cleanse because there wasn't a whole lot of ways to clear poisons aside from the cure poison potions, which aren't guaranteed drops and kind of a little bit rare actually during the uh um silver hand locations but yes it, i mean it is just supposed to be a better healing spell altogether though i don't see why it couldn't be the same efficiency as heal self too So the nice thing about this build is that you kind of start off with like decent damage and then um, you start working on your defense and then when you get your defense up and your damage is starting to suffer, then you can uh, start going to infusions. I suggest we meet there and spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. College is a bit of an oddity. Nords don't trust magic or those that use it. 
made it difficult for me growing up. Only feeling rested, not well rested. Better than nothing, though. Yeah, it'd be nice once we can start getting some infusions mixed in as well. When do we get AOE? Just do more damage. Visibly explode doing area of effect. Ooh, nice. It's actually kind of early on. I am excited for that. Any work except for creation club work. I'm just kidding. It doesn't have allergies to the sun. Oh, this is a... I was very confused for a second. It's a Civil War battle. I thought that was one of the college students, and they were fighting Imperial soldiers, and that they just got murdered. Damn, glass dagger. Crazy. Being you know, a little bit of a scavenger, maybe a little outside of my roleplay, but oh well. Excuse me. Why was that not absorbing stamina regen? Oh, but yeah, you're right. The vampire builds. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Hmm. I sure hope they're not bugged. As some of you may know, Sarfo was one of the earliest Nord settlements in Skyrim. Um, I wonder if sunlight bow counts. Cool. I was say I don't have a, I don't have a spell. <laughs> to another X edit stream, yeah. We might end up there. Look at that, we can just cast them both out right now. Isn't that beautiful? Why in the world would this be sealed off? What is this place? Know that you have set in motion a chain Judgment of has not been passed. Judgment will as you be had passed no way on your no. actions. This warning is passed and how to take great dangers ahead of you. Know that the order is I I swear I felt something rather strange just then. 
What just happened? Can you tell me more? Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? I'm not seeing stamina regen absorption. That's not good. That's very important that we get that. Why is our stamina so high, though? Oh, because we got the heavy armor perk. I don't have the health absorb perk. I'm talking about absorbing stamina regen. We just got respite perk. Oh, also, I don't have my freaking... Okay. Oh, you know what? I think it has something to do with it not showing up in the active effects to not have uh, the lag issues or whatever. No, we're definitely absorbing stamina regen. No, we're good. We're good. We're Gucci. Acidic? You're going to have to learn how to read perks, my man. <laughs> Healing spells from the Restoration School also restore stamina. Sunlight spells can now absorb stamina regen. These ones uh, make them do 15% more damage. They last 10 times longer. They have 30% stronger enchantments. Sunlight weapons can absorb health regen and gain one magic back per second during the daytime. This one does the magic regen slash speed. And then this one just does more damage to undead. That is all. I'm only giving you a hard time. But I do know why it's not showing up. It's because uh, Forn set them to hide. <clears throat> what you talking about? I read everything. Uh, Forn set the uh, active effects to hide because otherwise you end up with like way too many active effects and it was causing like script lag or something. This bears closer inspection. I'd like to stay a while. Sounds like something losers do. I'm not a loser. I have definitely fucking seen Dunmer hold their ward and walk through a freaking uh, rune and take no damage. That's some bullshit. Seems a little sus. Another unfilled Grand Soul Gem. Perfect. Just what we were hoping for. Ton more favoritism strikes again. Uh, yeah, HUD. For my HUD, it's a mixture of really three mods. It's uh, True HUD. That's where my health, stamina, and magicka bars are. I guess technically four, because then there's true HUD additions to add the uh, the numbers. And then I'm using STB resist widget for the resistances on the bottom left. And then I'm using uh, equipment HUD for the HUD that shows my equipment on the bottom. I 
can't remember if I already activated this or not. I don't think I did. It is Akashima. We are dad. Whenever we get out of the dungeon, we'll take our helmet off. I have it set up to with outfit system to have my helmet on in dungeons. But we do have the full the full dad cut and everything. Oh yeah, and the compass overhaul. Compass navigation overhaul, whatever it's called. So I guess that's it's more than a few mods. Let's try this again. Bullshit. That's part of a better third person. No, actually, that's True HUD. True HUD does that. <laughs> it's a good way to do it, Acidic. <sighs> Carry away. Oh, we're good. Oh, no, you don't. Should actually have my ward ready. And uh hold on. Yeah, apparently the ward is just visual. But he does do the explosion sometimes. Be prepared to defend yourself. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. I don't dare leave this on the table. Can you return to the college and inform Salvo's army to have this discovered? Please, hurry. Uh, we still focus on restoration. Getting restoration 75 is going to be pretty big. Um, well, technically, sunlight damage does 100% of its actual damage to undead. Uh, it doesn't do, like, extra damage or anything like that. But it does half damage to non-undead targets. So it's the sunlight weapons are really strong. Um, they're just more so strong against undead because they're not. It's resisted by magic resist. It's just that they do 100% damage. Yeah, the coins. I don't even know why I'm collecting the coins. If anything, I should just be collecting the the big ones. These ones. These ones I don't really care about. They sell for like six gold. But the big ones sell for like, I don't know, like 30 gold or something like 60 gold. So th those kind of add up. We're also Imperial though. So that helps. 
Um, I don't think I'm worried about turning this in yet. I guess I might as well because now you actually get insights, I think. And we'll get another staff that we can sell. Oh yeah, here. Here you go, Akashima. We got our beautiful, our, our beautiful bald head. Looking very dad. Wait, why didn't it have me go through the Arcanum? That's annoying. This is not where we're supposed to be going. You consider restoration a valid. Good. Very valid. No, it can make life. The only spells I know. Take a look. Yeah, she's already selling the expert spells. Wow, that's a hundred mat. I need to do another funerary rite build. Ooh, imagine if we could cast this. Brain RK, your turn, Dre. <clears throat> Look at that noble glisten. You are relatively new here. Are we clear? Ah, please don't tell. And good work. The next time you find regular insights, come on. Perhaps the Come out. Uh, until next time. You you were in Sarko, yes? Nope. It's come to my attention that something was. No. The well, you don't even. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want, we'll have to talk before. I have many of the things in my mind. Your concerns are not among them. I don't even know if I plan on doing any of the college quest line. Probably not, actually. Unless I decided to go get uh, Konarik. Only one trip to Turkey away. Um. Yeah, just ignoring the dude. School is for losers. Dad is a high school dropout, so. Um, okay. Next is Solitude. We're going to go kill Mikruel Golderson. And then it's time for the uh, the Wombo. Is that what I think it is? Is that another one of these fucks? My god, I think it is. Why do we keep getting these guys? I finally found you. Oh wait, no, this is different. College of Winterhold, but I need help with my wards. Can you teach? Really? Great. Okay. So first, you raise your ward, and I'll. Oh, this seems spell. like a bad idea. Let's see the right way to do things. Get your ward ready. Great. Now I'm going to cast some spells at you. Keep your ward up so I can study it. I think I see what I was doing wrong. All right, that should do it. I think I'm ready to try the college again. Thanks. <laughs> You're going the wrong way, dumbass. Well, hey, that's not something you see every day. <laughs> oh, my God. The, uh, literally, the college guys are right here. Fucking follow them up. There's Tolftir. <laughs> he wants to join. Where are you going? <laughs> I 
Oh, Skyrim. I'm out here. I'm I just joined the college and I'm out here training new students already. This cleric in heavy armor out here training the associates. Where the fuck is the carriage here? I know there's supposed to be one, right? With carriage and fast travel overhaul. Actually, wait, I wonder. I think I can get to solitude from the ferry. Probably. I'm half a day away of effort away from becoming the Archmage. True. Dad is OP. The college is hard to see from where he's standing. True, it's all this fog. What mod's that? Acidic? Oh, carriage and fast travel overhaul? Yeah, it just sucks if you're using like any town mods. There's like always issues, even patches, because patches are always outdated for this. Yes. Uh, and if you don't feel like messing with the globals, um, Ghoul Smasher has a mod on his page for just enjoy the fresh air and leave the road uh, for the prices that I use. Which are pretty balanced. I think his fairy prices are probably a little too cheap, but that's fine. We're okay with it. <laughs> cool carrying my mod list on his back as always. It's pretty easy to edit whatever you want on the um carriage prices and whatever it's just some globals you have to edit but it's like he already has a pretty balanced one so might as well use that you talk to egg brothers DJ has no words for you ed boys as long as we don't have to talk to actually we're we are son of the shepherd what am i talking about we're rolf ed boys you dare mock the son of a shepherd We still have this on. Oh, shit. Can't tell which one we have on. Oh, no. I definitely fast travel. <laughs> Life has many doors, that boy. Uh, no, I just uh, I haven't been to Solitude yet, so we needed to discover the location. Um... I think we're just ready to go straight there, right? Yeah. And the next one is Markarth. Look, there's the Kataraya. Are we still rested? Oh my god, we still have Mammoth State going. Um, I don't know if that's gonna last long enough. It might. I think stamina is probably better. The Birmingham of Skyrim. Yeah, Markarth is a uh a fun town to be a part of. <laughs> it is indeed a shithole.
Alright, let's go find Danis Valen. Rifton is Florida. I'll take it. I like Rifton. I am Florida man, after all. Oops, I did not finish my cast. Oh, I need to cast my spells. Alright. We're not gonna have enough regen to get our shield back up anyways. Oh, hello. Killing you first. And now we have enough regen to get our shield back out. Absorbing that magic regen is really nice just because it lets you uh, switch out your shield and cast some spells and then you still have that residual regen to get your shield recasted. Absorbing stamina regen is a lovely mechanic. Because <laughs> just look at this. Now, now we're working with, with fire or sun magic. Uh, one thing I'm actually really excited to use is like the sun fire spell, which actually we should have gotten that while we were in uh, Riften. Woods are all too big, Detroit. All right, snake, whale, hawk. reason why it's nice doing a uh, uh, RK build with uh, sun weapons is because you want to fight undead. Uh, I forgot what order it was. I think this is right. And undead is exactly what this build wants to fight. We want to kill undead. We get more health. We're very resilient against undead. That was not right. 
Snake Whale Hawk. That's right, Snake Whale Hawk. What's really crazy is after we, uh, after we clear, after we kill Patama, once we lay Patama to rest, things get a little insane. Oh, look at that, 110 poison resist, perfect. for a puzzle made seven years ago. I'm actually surprised at how much physical damage these fuckers still do. Draugr are truly insane. Like, low-level Draugr just power attack. I think they just have, like, insane amounts of armor penetration or something. Yeah, even, even as RK Blessing taking 25% less... But our armor rating is also really low now because we went with the Vigilant Curus. Uh, that'll change in the near future. I did not realize actually how low our armor rating was. It might not have been worth grabbing this. I might have should I probably should have stuck with the uh, Nordic carved after all, because that is a big armor difference. Man, my mammoth steak is about to wear off. I'm going to have to go tomato soup. As much as I want to kill all the undead in here to, to get their uh, deaths tallied to my name, I really want to end this fight quick. Ooh, we're not ending this fight quick. Yikes. Oh my god. I think I will take advantage of the summons here. Get some more undead to my name. Is that really all he's going to summon? A 
gotta say, this frost effect is actually kind of scary. Is that all of his summons? for ebony vamps we're getting there we're getting there that's for sure i'm not doing enchanting like actually enchanting items but that is pretty funny okay restoration how was your your stream meech did you survive This perk might go into attack speed, maybe. Or we start getting shield bash perks. Ooh, we could do that. Attack speed, or I'm gonna get shield bash. Shield bash sounds like fun. Oh, actually, wait, no, 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 no. We need to start getting infusion perks. Died in Ingvild, but started again with Argonian. Nice. Classic Ingvild. It's a place that's tough to do early now, which is good. I think I think the reward is still too strong for that dungeon. I think the dungeon is just too easily accessible and not super difficult and not, not as difficult for the reward that you get, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's too... I think the dungeon difficulty is good enough. I don't think the dungeon should be harder. I think the reward shouldn't be as good. Because that that reward, like that... that You can literally just wear those robes. Yeah, hard to beat robes to give everything a mage once. Yeah. The only thing it doesn't give you is cost reduction. But what do you need cost reduction for when you have Magicka 2, 250 regen, and survivability? And MR. It's just the defensive set. I almost feel like maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a Stormo should, that's just too late though. That's too late in the quest. I think, I think the, I think the Magicka enchantment needs to not be Magicka too. And then I think the MR needs to be something else. I think, I don't think it should be MR boots. Maybe it should be like 15 elemental resist to all elements. Okay. Now it's time to reforge the amulet. Yeah, because that'd, that'd be still it'd still be good for Thalm, uh, like a uh, 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 high elf build, an Altmer build. I think it'd still be good. Like keep keep the robes the same. Maybe even lower the robe regen to two hundred percent. 
and then keep the hundred armor rating, keep the ten percent physical damage reduction, and then change the gauntlets to the the gloves to be like forty magical one, and then the boots to be um, elemental, all three elements, fifteen percent. I think that'd still be really strong and be a lot more fair. No, I just think, I mean, it, it thematically, it just makes sense where it's at already. It just needs to be less good because there's already so many other robes that are, or so many other mage outfits that are strong that should be upgrades from that one. It's not a matter of just moving the strong set somewhere else. It's a matter of making that one less strong so that there's more progression. But it, it also, it it's the defensive armor, or it's the defensive mage outfit. And a lot of times, people are going to go for the defensive sets. That's why something like the Templar armor set is so good. Because it has, like, everything you need. The only other place I could see Justiciar robes being moved to would be onto uh would be putting that set onto Estormo. But it's like, okay, you get it after you kill Morakai. Like at that point, you're just gonna go kill You're just gonna go kill uh Um Uncano and then get uh Archmage robes. So at that point it's kind of worthless. Come on in. It's in a good spot where it's at. It just needs to be toned down. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you take a look. Sure thing. It's your. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markarn. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yeah, exactly, Pickles. That's why I. Dust. That's why I, I don't what? think the place You're needs right. to be more difficult. Well, I, I think the this. armor set just needs to be Damn. less effective. Another I don't even know who that is. Like I said, I think the set is just too strong in general. It just needs, the set itself just needs to be nerfed. It's in a good spot. Yeah, I mean, you could just put a different set on him, though, is the thing, if you really wanted to. I think it's in a good spot. Plus, the dungeon's already been buffed, so it should make use of the already buffed dungeon now. I don't even know why I'm casting that yet. Not even close.
I find the Amulet of RK is kind of just in a strange spot. Because, like, I'm just going to wear the Galder Amulet, and it's health 2 for 40 points versus the Amulet of RK, which would be 60 points after I kill Patema. It's like, um, doing the math here, and I'm not seeing the uh, the relevance of wearing the Amulet of RK. I feel like it should do something a little extra. <laughs> I find the majority of the amulet, the divine amulets, not really worth wearing even with champion. I think like, like wearing the amulets when following is usually pretty good. Like Zenithar getting six movement speed is pretty fucking strong because that's already peerless. Just for following Zenithar. Like Zenithar is a is an example of a good one. But even then, like when you become champion of Zenithar, you're like, okay, I'm not going to wear an amulet. It just gives me 12 movement speed. Yeah, exactly. Amulet of the Divines is just way better than all of them. Yeah, you're actually, you're right, Angel Wine. Mara's is pretty good. Mara's is a good example of, of how to make them pretty decent. I think all of them, like maybe RK could give like health regen on top of it. Uh, Juliano's could give magic regen on top of it. Kenrith could give stamina regen on top of it. Could do a lot of other cool things. I thought about going Amulet of the Divines in this build, but it's just really not necessary because uh, we really want the Magicka 2, Stamina 2, and Health 2 enchantments more, so... Now, the only thing you can put... The only self-made enchantments of magic resist that you can do or can only go on jewelry only rings and uh, necklaces uh, you have to find enchantments uh, like uh, uh, like unique unique gear that has the other stuff okay we're gonna go mammoth steak Oh, I just realized something. We're not going to be able to actually wear the fucking necklace in here while we do this fight. That's kind of sad. Well, I guess we're going to be extra fucking frost resistant, which isn't the worst. Uh, elemental, you can put on boots and jewelry. I'm pretty sure those are the only three. Okay. All right, so we've got Mammoth Steak. Let's go ahead and take... Yeah, for some reason, he aggros. Uh, Templar's not going to be too hard. That's why I'm getting this, this armor set first. asshole. I don't know if they're endless.
I was gonna say, I maybe should have brought a... That's the real one. Wait a second. I just think I noticed a huge flaw with this fight. Uh, I think the the non real ones. OK, never mind. I thought for a second that their bows broke, but the real ones didn't. I mean, the main flaw with this fight is having health bars. But I'm not going to not have health bars. This fight needs to be, I mean, I know this is a really solid build, but this fight needs to be a lot harder, in my opinion. Where's my Daedric bow? Oh yeah, Jirik, Jir, I, I, I mentioned it before. For some reason, Jirik is like super easy to fight here. I think he should summon three Atronox. Not potent Atronox, but I think he should summon three Atronox. Oh yes, just what I needed. A nice enchanted necklace. Oh wow, what the fuck? Is that always there or is that random? Yeah, I know. I was joking about the Daedric bow. I know it got moved. Yeah, it's multiplicative, so... It just makes it do even less. <laughs> what? You don't know what the gold amulet does? It's beautiful. It's the restored amulet's magic combines its fragments powers into an even more powerful magical aura. It gives us health two, magic two, and stamina two. Um, and I believe the magica two on this version carries over the magica galder amulet fragment effect to not lose magica at all on hit. It used to be 50 points per stat, but it was nerfed to 40 in three tweaks, I'm pretty sure. My own divines, yeah, like RK's amulet would only be 60 health once I kill Patema. Like right now, it'd only be 30 health one, so this is way better. Uh, the main reason I wanted this amulet is because the armor pieces that I plan on getting for this character's end game... Uh, don't have health, magicka, or stamina rank 2 enchantments on them. So it's kind of important that I got those. Oh yeah, this is going to be the amulet I wear for the rest of the game. And I'll be wearing this ring for a really long time. <laughs> uh, pretty much the only thing that's going to replace that ring is... Whenever I get like magic or whenever I get uh, I, I need to get fire and I need to get shock abatement rings and then I just uh, switch them out. Sort of sad how bad that effect is in vanilla. No, I'm not going to be wearing multiple rings. I'll just be switching out for different fights. 
Like if I'm fighting a shock dragon, I'll wear a shock ring. If I'm fighting a fire dragon, I'll wear a fire ring. What are you hiding, priest? It's about the whole... I can't talk about it. We've discovered... We have... If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arcade. Take my key. You were you. It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. Last mistake. Need to know the details. <laughs> Blessings of RK to you. Here, take my amulet as a reward. RK protect you. The weakened one, unfortunately. See you later, Acidic. Have a good one, man. We should get some some kind of reward from RK for killing her. She should also be made a lot harder to fight, though, if that were the case. Oh, I think uh, I reached another threshold on my health. You know what's kind of funny is that you can reach your killing dead threshold with RK and gain health in the middle of a fight. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I didn't even think about that. Um, so we have a fortify health 50 points right now, and we have mana mistake for 20. So we have an, uh, an extra 75 health currently. Um, I wish Tyrannus was over here. We'd go fight Tyrannus right now. I just realized I never even did a bounty for doing uh, I guess I had the, the bounty over here but I never did like my bounty rewards for trader's post no I did do trader's post never mind and then when I did lost knife we got the reward from whatever his name was so yeah we're good um, I am going to go we can go cleanse Mara's eye pond real quick or just go straight through dim hollow
Uh, Dawn Guard by far, because Soul Cairn is absolutely absurd. Mm. Let's go do Mara's Eye Pond so we can get some gold. We're actually going to need a decent amount of gold after we c clear Dim Hollow so that we can... Uh, so that we can buy the Dawn Guard armor that we need. I mean, we can just wear Templar until we can afford the pieces, but still. Labyrinthian on permadeath isn't that bad. Uncano is awful. Uncano is is AIDS. All right, and the stake's about to wear off. Sag. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's going to be fixed in the next uh, Small Tweaks update. No worries about that. The good thing is, now that we're ready for vampire content, uh, we can really start getting some greater insights. Unfortunate that we won't really be able to take advantage of RK's uh, enchantment absorption from killing enemies. But it is what it is. Um, this build really does get to the point where it doesn't rely on food buffs. Uh, the religion is all changed. It's just F tweaks. Three tweaks change changed the Requiem religion, and then uh, F tweaks added Daedra. Hold on, I want to test something. Yeah, pretty sure we don't lose magic on hit at all. Yep. So normally a regular Magicka two enchantment makes it so that uh, you only lose 50, you lose 50% less Magicka on hit because you lose Magicka and stamina whenever you get hit. Uh, but when you have a Magicka 2 enchantment, it reduces it by half. But the Galder Amulet Fragment from Sarthal uh, completely nullifies Magicka loss on hit. And that effect carries over into uh, the Magicka 2 enchantment on the Galder full fragment or the full amulet, which is really nice. Really nice indeed. Right, I will take a... Yeah, that's true. The one perk does. But it is multiplicative, not additive. So it would be technically with Magicka 2 enchantment, it would be 75% less loss on hit. Which is enough to be almost nothing. Another nice thing is once we get powerful healing aura on self, that's another uh, absorb absorb protection. We're gonna have so much absorb protection. Absorb spells are gonna do like zero damage to us. Uh, unfortunately, mammoth steak is about to run out. We're gonna take an ale and a grilled leek.
You know, I don't know if we really care about these one-handed books. Three thousand gold. Nice. I mean, we'll level up one hand. I'm just not going to carry around the books forever. It's not that important. I more so really only care about the uh, skill books for perks, either that I'm going to be leveling to 100 and like I want the 100 perk like as soon as possible or for something like heavy armor. We're getting it to 55 is such a huge break point or restoration getting to 60 being a huge break point two handed getting to 75 being a huge break point. I usually just save it for the break points. All right. Uh, we are Lord Stone, so that's an, that's why we have minus fire resist, and it's also why our magic resist is like extra high. What's up, Raven? Honestly, we might end up changing the Lord Stone later, just because it won't be like insanely useful later on. I mean, a fifteen magic resist is always nice, but we'll have. I think we'll have plenty of resistances anyways to the point where we won't need it. Uh, but I'm not sure what we'd change it to. We could go Atronoc. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. No, we don't want to do that because we want our, we're doing infusions and there are magic resist. I don't even, what would I change to? I was thinking Tower Stone, but the only thing I don't like about Tower Stone on a block build is it's really good until you get the level 50 block perk where that unlocks your movement. When you unlock your movement, you're not standing still or walking as much. So you're not being you're not getting that extra 15 percent protection, which is kind of annoying. I do wish that perk was optional. I, I would kind of rather see that block perk get put up the middle. Okay, what is up with the frame rate right now? What is going on? Um, I don't think it buffs infusion. I could be wrong, though. All right, I might have to do a, uh, a reset here. Because frame rate is... There should be a little bit of a memory leak here. Modded written? Surely not. Surely you don't mean Riften. <laughs> yeah, and I think it was more of like a memory leak thing right there. Infusions are there's perks in the enchanting tree from F tweaks that adds an ability called infusions. Basically, you activate it from your magic effects or you go to like your spell powers and you activate infusions and it takes a percentage of your magicka and it deals magical damage it's basically like having like an extra enchantment on your weapon um, but it works with weapons like sunlight weapons or bound weapons that don't have enchantments technically speaking um they work really well with sunlight weapons the one-handed sunlight weapons because they absorb magic regen so you're constantly getting your magicka back as you spend it on infusions and there's multiple perks that you can take for the infusions that make it do more damage there's one perk that makes it do AOE, and then the last one makes it uh, 
bypass uh, parts of magic resist. It's like the it's like the one way to make sunlight weapon builds like actually viable for late game. Otherwise, the damage on them would be like really too low. If you want to take sun weapons to end game, you really got to you got to take infusions. Except for maybe the two handed ones, the two handed ones might be good enough without infusions. But the two handed weapons don't absorb magic region. They absorb speed. They absorb movement speed. So you don't get to basically you don't get infinite infusion usage like you do with the one handed weapons. Yeah, see, it's uh, frame rates way better now. Sometimes it just to be like that. Speaking of infusions, there's the first perk for it. And now we do that. And now I activate it and weapon infusion learned. So I come over here and I go sources. Um, it's on here somewhere. Oh, actually, this has changed. Uh, it's changed under sources, not under name. I don't know. I don't even know if it's on the active effects tab, but either way, we've got infusions active now. So now whenever we hit things, you'll see our magicka will go down a little bit. But then we're going to absorb magic region and it's going to go back up again. already dead. Alright, there's usually like a highwayman at the end of the road here. <laughs> Come on, guy. Where you at? There you are. It's a dark elf. That's all you've got. Actually, our magicka didn't go down. Might have to test this real quick. What the fuck did I just type? off. Oh, come on. Why is infusions not working? I wonder if it has something to do with the infusion AOE fix. Let me try disabling that and see.
X edit stream incoming. No. Right now I'm debating if I want to go do dim hollow or go to bed. I'm thinking we might just do dim hollow first. But I just want to check and make sure and see if this is working or not. Quick, easy, dim hollow. It's the plan. All right, infusion on. Okay, yeah. Interesting. And you see the magic of cost. Okay. Not sure why the AOE fix is causing that. But something to worry about later. The only thing that AOE fix does was uh, prevent you from hitting non-hostiles with the AOE damage. Uh, it could have been the hard reset. Uh, I'll test that tomorrow. We're, we don't have to worry about needing the AOE fix right now anyways. Because we don't have the AOE. Got stuck on the gargoyles? Well... We can just uh, run past those. Need to go sell some shit off. I was gonna say I kind of want to get the Dawn Guard shield up there, but I think I need the expert key to get up there, and I don't have an expert key. That's fine. We can do it without. We'll just wear our sunlight shield anyways. I wonder if sunlight shield actually has uh, absorb resistance. I think we should be all right. I wonder if we can bull rush. Join the Dawn Guard? Good. Low keel. Why are you here, Tolan? The Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know what? The Vigilance are under attack. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believe. I remember Keeper Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawnguard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to remove. And now as you stir the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Carset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. No, I'm not going to go for Spellbreaker. For me as well. We're going to be relying on I Sunlight Shield for the most that. part, and then wards if we need to switch over. So who are you? But look, Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isram. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires are. All right. Listen. 
あー One thing I want to grab before we go there. Ideally, I would have liked to have done this build with, like, no Daedric artifact usage. Oh, God. But, unfortunately, this build is very, very perk-hungry. And I will need Augma and Finium. <clears throat> got a headshot. Oh my god. Speedy McSpeederson over here. Another speedy. It's actually a pretty big damage jump. That was like a 40% damage increase with the uh, infusions. Um, I don't think they necessarily have birth signs, but some enemies do have unique effects. Yeah, we even get infusion usage whenever we bash with our shield. Okay, so apparently shield does not proc absorb like I thought it did. That's unfortunate. It's fine, but it would have been cool if it did. That's tempting, actually. We have beef stew, though. That's probably what I'm going to take. May your road lead you to warm sands. Take a look. I 
hope that you will. What the fuck? What happened to the Dawn Guard quest? Why'd that bug the fuck out? Uh. That's weird. I've never had that happen before. Um. Well, let's just, uh, hope this isn't broken. I have to do some set stage shenanigans. Yeah, Dawn Guard's over. The what the the one character I want to do Dawn Guard only run on and Dawn Guard quest breaks as soon as we join Dawn Guard. Oh, I was going to go craft another effigy, but I don't think I was going to wear another effigy. I'm not switching my effigies until after we get uh, Restoration 70, 70 or 75. I think it's 70, right? Yeah, 70. <clears throat> we'll switch effigies once we get to 70. I guess just in case we come across poison enemies. Um. <laughs> Two surpassing healings. Should be okay. here for a moment we got some uh, decent health I don't think this quest is gonna work I think awakening just didn't start was the problem
I don't know. Let's just go through it. And I have to break our game with console once we get there. See what happens. At this point, hopefully we just die. <laughs> don't have to worry about it then. <laughs> I think, I'm pretty sure Sun Spells, uh, Ring of Recuperation. Pretty sure they scale with a Restoration skill level, so. Yeah, I just gotta not get hit by that power attack. We're gonna hopefully bash him to death. I also have 362 health with RK. Oh, I just realized I didn't come prepared for getting Templar set because I did not bring a, a smithing key. We'll just have to consult the console merchant when we get to that point. I knew there was something I forgot to do. what's crazy is that we still haven't even seen a uh a file I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I just. Purchasing two of these. I added an F. Oops. What 
was dead. Here we go. Glitched getting up. Uh oh, excellently. Grabbed one of his items. What do we have for boots? I mean, that's technically better than what we have right now. We'll lose out on four magic resists, though. It's probably worth it, right? Yeah, I'm realizing I probably should have brought some potions of fire and shock resist. Kind of my bad to not bring that. Um, let's just uh hope the rest is good enough to carry, right? That's correct, Santiago. You know, the problem here is actually that he keeps he keeps doing the stupid like the Dunmer style attack. And then this bitch keeps draining my fucking magicka.
try to resurrect low keel. What a bitch. This bitch really resurrected low keel. Again. That was an intense fight, to say the least. All right, I think this is a good sign. I think that means this quest is working? Question mark? <laughs> Your heart, how do you think I feel? <laughs> I was a little worried because there was one point where Low Keel did his Ford power attack, but we like just barely moved out of the way. And I was like, ah, that was my life flash before my eyes. Another sub level 20 uh, dim hollow clear. Sub 20 dim hollow clears feel good. Hello, Serana. Daddy's home. Should happen in slow motion. Where is. No, he's Where not in work. Here? I was expecting someone. Oh, look at that. The quest is working now. Not I can help you. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Cool. Time to get Amy Lamar again. Okay, buffs. Where art thou? Um, hands constitution, healing aura. Okay, everything's good. So, sunlight shield, sunlight mace. Now, the real question is, can we kill a gargoyle? Answer is no. safe. Oh, wait, this one's only adept. What the fuck? So we did come prepared. I might actually... Yeah, we'll wear that instead of the Templar boots. I don't need all that extra carry weight. Uh, I might still want the Helm of Ingol, so I'll hold on to it just in case. Those boots of fire resist are actually kind of a nice find.
Oh yeah. Resistance is looking real good, especially when we have uh, the shield on. 72. 72 MR. Good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. Look at that. Oh, we didn't save a perk. Frack. Frackity frack. We need to level up. Actually, wait, we might have. No. No, 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 no. Unless? No, that's definitely not enough. I kind of want to read these right now just to level up, but it's okay. We'll level up soon enough. What now? Okay, let's see here. I'm literally unkillable. Getting there. Is this guy? Is he over here? Yeah, next to the fucking saber cat. Take you as far as I they say anyone who steps foot on that island will meet it. Yeah, we're it's definitely going to need like max level infusions before we even think about going to Soul Cairn. Um, I think I'll probably just go ahead and end here and then we'll just pick up in the next. Next time, I might just do some of this off screen because there's not much point in really showing any of this off. Because uh, next time we just go search the guys. I don't know if they become vendors right away, but I need to I need to get to the I need to progress the Dawn Guard to the point where I can buy the Dawn Guard heavy armor. Um, and then uh. We'll have everything we need for in-game gear, except for uh, our gauntlets. Uh, gauntlets, we're going to want to get... Uh, um, oh, God, what's his name? I can't think of his name. The, the Stendar guy. From Molag Ball's Quest. Good Lord, whatever his fucking name is. I don't know what the total damage is for infusions. I only have one perk right now. So I need to get Tyrannus. Yes, Tyrannosaurus Rex. How could I forget that name? Uh, we need to we need to get up to probably temporal distortion before we do Soul Karen. Yeah, we have a lot of leveling to do. So I think 
now that we once we I need to check and see how far we need to progress the Dawn Guard in order to buy our stuff. I also wanted to get like the uh, like the aura spell. Probably start doing. Uh, I got to decide if I want to use shouts at all or not. <coughs> Excuse me. The one shout I probably would want to use is aura whisper. So I probably do want to use shouts. I think we will. We also need to start Patema's quest. Oh, when, what is the requirement to start the second part of Patema's quest? Isn't it tied to the main quest or something like that? I can't remember exactly. Well, we're about to grab this, which is going to be 15% more damage. 30% uh, stronger enchantments, meaning we get stronger absorbs. And we're also going to absorb health regen, and we're going to gain one magicka back per second during the daytime. So that's about to be a really nice perk. Except, I think you need to go to the third of the world, maybe. That's what I was thinking. I might have to progress to the third of the world after all, which I really didn't want to do. Because uh, I was just going to do Black Reach and Augma Infinium outside of the main quest and just kind of ignore that. Uh, that's something else we'll do before we go to Soul Cairn is Augma Infinium. Get prepared for that because we're going to need to be pretty well prepared. Uh, honestly, I think Soul Cairn is really annoying because I feel like we could do the entire, almost the entire Dawn Guard quest line continuously right now if it wasn't for Soul Cairn. Um, like we might struggle a little bit with all the Falmer without the, if we didn't have AOE. But once we get the AOE from Overwhelming Magicka, we probably have no problem doing the Falmer stuff. And this is just a level 60 perk. But Soul Cairn is just a big fucking roadblock. It's really annoying. I feel like maybe only the first half of Soul Cairn should have slided, and maybe the second half have no slided. But I don't know. I don't know. Let's see here. Combat. Undead killed 126. I don't remember how many we need to kill for RK, but we're we're getting there. Without the without the beef stew on, we have uh, 313 health. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna be quite the healthy healthy dad. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Um, maybe back probably be back on tomorrow evening. So I'll catch you guys then. See ya.